Internet Sports News, uh, Shannon Gabriel says sorry. Mass United schools cricket bowled off. And in athletics, IWAF denies Semenya male classification. We bowl off tonight's sports news of cricket. Shannon Gabriel, the Windy's spearhead, has come out with an unreserved apology to England skipper Joe Root in relation to the verbal altercation that took place on day three of the St. Lucia test and eventually got the fast bowler suspended for four ODIs by the ICC. The pacer, on his part, released a statement to shed more light about the verbal altercation. He noted that the verbal spat happened in the heat of the moment when he was trying to find a way past the pressures of test cricket. To my teammates and members of the England team, especially their captain Joe Root, I extend an unreserved apology for a comment which in the context of on-the-field rivalry, I assume was inoffensive and spotting banter, Gabriel said. I know now that it was offensive and for that I am deeply sorry. The quick bowler, who was expected to earn a recall for the later part of the five-match ODI series against England, will recently miss the first four matches of the forthcoming rubber, scheduled to commence next week in Barbados. In more cricket news, Roston Chase's fifth Test 100 has seen him make a significant rise in the latest ICC batting rankings. The 26-year-old climbed 10 places to 41st in the latest rankings released Wednesday following West Indies' 232-run defeat to England in the third and final test in St. Lucia. Schools Cricket Now, the 2019 Massey Insurance Under-19 Schools Cricket Tournament bowled off earlier today at three venues island-wide. The tournament, which is in its 34th unbroken year, will witness 19 schools participating this time around. Here is match day one fixtures. Miku against Entrepo Secondary at the Monipo playing field, Cicero took on Bilbutu at the Balata playing field, and Babono Secondary versus Cassius Comprehensive at the Grosile playing field. Entrepo Secondary and Sir Arthur Lewis College are joint champions. Boxing news now, Anthony Joshua will fight in the US for the first time when he defends his IBF, WBA and WBO World Heavyweight titles against Jarrell Miller on June the 1st. Joshua, 29, will take on Miller at Madison Square Garden in the undefeated American's home city of New York. Miller, with 23 wins and the draw, has never fought for a world title. On to UEFA Champions League, Real Madrid claim a fortunate win at Ajax in the Champions League last 16 first leg. Ajax played well and had a Nicolas Talvicchio goal ruled out by the first Champions League video assisted referee consultation. Holders Real took the lead when Karim Benzema blasted into the top corner after fine work by Vinicius Jr. Akim Ziyech, level from 10 yards, but Marco Asensio scored the winner from Danny Cavajal's cross. Elsewhere, Song Yong Min, Jan Vertonghen and Fernando Yoronte secured a fine final victory for Tottenham versus the Bundesliga leaders, Bruce Dortmund. Goal! Atención, porque lo que protesta el Ajax es una falta de Lucas Vázquez en la mitad de la cancha, en el momento en el cual se abre juego. Ahí está. We conclude tonight's sports news of athletics. Athletics governing body has denied it will tell a court female athletes with high testosterone levels like Casta Semenya should be classified as male. World and Olympic 800 meter champion Semenya is challenging a proposed IAAF rule that aims to restrict the levels of testosterone in female runners. The case will be heard at the Court of Arbitration for Sport next week. That's how we end tonight's sports news.